Long after Rome itself was sacked by barbarians in 410 AD, the Roman Empire lived on in Constantinople, which was one of the richest and most coveted cities of its day due to its strategic location on the Bosphorus, a narrow strait that separates Europe and Asia and the Black Sea from the Mediterranean. But even after Constantinople fell to the Ottomans, who renamed it Istanbul, the city continued to thrive, and today is the largest metropolis in Europe. So even if you're not a history buff like myself, you'll still find plenty to love about this city. Its nightlife, for instance, is wicked fun, seeing as Turkey is the most secular Muslim country and drinking alcohol isn't taboo. It's got raging clubs and funky dive bars, like this one that's randomly inspired by the American TV show Shameless. The Shameless Bar reminds me of like a lot of the dive bars in Manhattan. Or if you want a more local experience, you can hit up a Rocky table. Yeah, let's go! Where groups of friends gather around to sip Turkish Rocky and eat small plates of food known as meze. It's snapper made with some mustard sauce. And having always been at the center of so many trade routes, Istanbul is also one of the greatest places in the world to shop. Most of the old city is a giant market where you can find anything you desire for a great price. But its two most famous shopping centers are the Spice Bazaar. And this bazaar is a wicked bazaar. How much for the uh, Viagra tea? And the Grand Bazaar, which I'd be hitting up today for a little retail therapy. There are more than 20 gates. This is gate number one, maybe the major gate of the bazaar to walk. More than 20,000 people working on daily basis. Let's say the first shopping mall on the face of Earth. 1460s, I'm talking about. Wow. The and first shopping today. mall on the exactly. face of the planet. Comprised of 61 covered streets and 4,000 shops, which sprawl over an area larger than seven football fields, the Grand Bazaar is pretty much a city in itself. And whether you're looking for antique weaponry... Oh, this one's sick. It's like a camel and a horse. Actually, I don't think I want to be carrying a sword around the rest of this trip. <laughs> Pet supplies. Yeah, come to the Grand Bazaar. We'll get you collared up. Or a fancy scarf. I just don't think I'm like a scarf guy, really. The Bazaar has what you need. Like if we got Matthew Broderick up here and which movie? Inspector Gadget. That's what he is known for in Turkey. But I personally had come to the bazaar to swag myself out with cheap knockoffs. I mean, I need an entire new wardrobe. Keep in mind, 99% wherever you go, you can haggle with the price. So it's a part of the tradition. Should I get some Dolce Gabbana's? 280 US dollars. How about 200 Turkish lira? 200 Turkish lira? Yeah. You can take Burger King. Uh, you know, Burger King and a pair of shoes. If you want Dolce Gabbana shoes, you need to pay Dollar, two hundred eighty dollar, not Turkish lira. All right, four hundred Turkish lira. Final offer. Two menu Burger King for you. Hey, well, you know what? If I didn't get Dolce Gabbana, do you got any shoes that are a little cheaper? I for you very good price. How much? Three hundred U.S. dollar. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. we're going in the wrong direction, you buddy. You take this bullshit, but it's my job. If you want to joke with me, I can joke with you, no problem. No, I'm not trying to joke. Look at the off. shoes I'm wearing. I need new shoes. I'm being I very serious. It. All right, how about 100 USD for the black Louis Vuitton? No way. My cost more than your price. I'll leave. If you don't want my business, I'll walk out. And I will think about your price. I will sleep and in my dream, I think you. If you will be tomorrow, maybe we can deal. Okay. Tomorrow morning, you're going to wake up and be like, man, I should have closed that deal when I had a chance. Okay, okay great. Bye-bye. My haggling skills definitely needed some work. How about this Prada? Do you want to go to my showroom? Just here, to the right side. But hey, practice makes perfect. A Prada jumpsuit would be pretty sweet. And how much? This was 850 that sets. Could do like 400. No, brother. Give you this for hundred lira, please. Work oh, come on. I mean, it's not. <laughs> it's not actually Prada. Brother, I can do it last price. Really, seven hundred lira. I could do five hundred. That's no, as, no, really. that's as high as I can go. I'll be a very loyal customer. I'll send a lot of people to you. You are popular. You have Instagram too. I check these videos. Yeah, the wanton <laughs> don. 
the Don the wears people, Prada. People or at least the Don me, wants to wear Prada. see me also? Yeah. We, maybe I will be also popular. Yeah, dude, I can tag you. <laughs> yeah. What's your at? Sponsored yeah. post, free of charge. True. Yo, True. if you want to get some Prada, yeah. come to this guy's spot, the Grand Bazaar. Not only Prada, every brand. Every brand? <laughs> yeah. All right. How can people find you? In the, in the Grand Bazaar. They can write me on Instagram. I will give you my Instagram. Okay, it's great. The best. The best. The best in world. The you best can. in the world, underscore 48. Are you famous? Yeah. Yes. Come, we take a video with you, my man. When you come to Turkey, Istanbul, you 100% you should visit us. If you want to be I happy. Guess. You can ask me from Danny. He's going to tell you how is good quality Grand everything Bazaar. here. Paris Boutique. Yes. And best Grand in the world. Bazaar. Only this one you want? Yeah. Let's not 850, not 700. Give me 650. You are happy. I'm a little bit happy also. Now we make business. 500. I I said I said final price. I gotta yeah. stick to my guns. Yeah. Don't think I sell you expensive. Yeah, That's really good price. I think 500 is <laughs> fair. I'll pay 650 if you if you throw in the shirt too. This is 400 lira, oh, bro. You want this for present? Now you can make videos and people say, yeah, this is man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this it's the, it's the Louis Vuitton Don. The t-shirt I could only pay 100 lira for. No, no, brother. Take off my t-shirt, please. I mean, I, I, like how much are we going to do just for this? I will do it one thing for you. If you say yes or no, no problem. Okay. 600 is the last. Don't speak me about money anymore. This is the last price. 550? Brother, don't speak 560 is good. Believe me, it's good. 250 lira, I make a discount for you. How much in USD is that? It's 41 dollars. All right, I'll do it. This is 600, I believe. Okay, thank All right. you. My name is Jengis. Hello. Jengis? Yes, Jengis. Well, thanks, Jengis. This will be the first piece of Prada I've ever owned. I'm a baddie, my trip's serious, serious A little extra, I'm delirious, delirious. I got so much swag, I never stop flexing You wanna flex like me? Pay attention Now all I needed was a gift for the lady friend back home How much? This is 1,300 euros for It's a new style, new model, on the scissors I can do 500 for this You kill me, my friend no, Really? You pay cash or cut? Cash. If you pay cash, I will help you. Not 500. Tell me your last price. This time I stuck to my guns. 500 cash. And it paid off. I have to go to an ATM. You will yes. go to the ATM? Yeah, 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 sure. Get out of it. Although I did try to get a little too fancy at the last second. Or how about I buy this for 20 US dollar? 20 US dollar is not have a business already. Plus 100 lira. Brother, go to the ATM is better, yeah. I also have um, 1,000 Thai baht. Is how much like 1,000 Thai baht? How much in dollar? That's got to be like 20 bucks. 20? Yeah. I haven't been to Thailand in a while, so the prices may have changed. Wow, that's actually a lot. All right, Hello. we're just we're just gonna go to an ATM. I tried giving that guy a thousand Thai baht. I thought that was worth like fifty cents. Turns out a thousand Thai bahts worth thirty bucks. I might go back to Thailand at some time. I'm gonna want to hold on to that. All right, I got the money. Brand new Chanel. Now that my shopping was out of the way, we dove even deeper into the bazaar. Why did I just buy the Prada jumpsuit when I could be wearing this? This is way more comfortable. But the more I looked around, the more buyer's remorse I got. I think I could have got them down to 500. And now I'm seeing cool stuff like the North Face Gucci? Didn't even know that existed. So we decided to head out and wrap up the day with a visit to one of Turkey's many world-class barber shops. All right, now that I got the fresh fit, I need a fresh cut and a shave. And this is the man. This was going to be a bit more exciting than your average trip to the barber shop. As in Turkey, the barbers break out all the toys. Ooh. Ooh. That feels great. Just a little, nice little ear sense. Yep, all my ear hair is gone. Got a Turkish dessert. Whoa, while well, I'm getting my ear hair singed. Oh, hot wax. Oh, didn't even know I had hair up there. It really cleans the pores. I don't know if you can even see that. Where is he putting this one? Oh, a nose wax. He waxed every inch of my face, including the unibrow. 
even gave me a facial too. Is this like a black sea mud thing or is it? Yeah, I think it's kind of like a mud treatment. It's starting to look like a Navy SEAL. Yeah. The hospitality at this place was unmatched. They served me a dessert with cheese. I got Turkish coffee. Rick the Razor would never. This would be one of the best barbershop experiences I've ever had, besides the whole getting a haircut part. He spent so much time waxing and masking me, we didn't even have time for the haircut segment of the program. Wait, can you tell him that maybe I will not get a haircut? I don't think we have time. As that night, I had tickets to my first Turkish football game and had to start making my way to the stadium so I didn't miss the pregame festivities. I feel like most Americans are unaware, but Turkey has some of the fiercest football fans in the world. And seeing as in this match, Galatasaray would be hosting Beşiktaş, one of their rival clubs also based in Istanbul, headed to another derby match, passions would be running high. I heard this team loved flares. I was like, nobody loves flares more than fucking Belgrade Red Star, but these guys were sparking flares in the Metro, so I think they love flares. Galatasaray Ultras are infamous for their use of flares, but that's not the only thing they're infamous for. Two lead supporters were killed with machetes by Galatasaray fans back in 2000. So it's a good thing I'd be rooting for the home team tonight. We are the best! We are the best! We are the, I actually know a chant! We are the best! Beautiful night for a football game! Beautiful night! Yeah. The atmosphere outside the stadium was electric. And while like at most soccer matches in Europe, there would be no beer sold inside the stadium, there were plenty of people slanging suds out front. Thank you. We got a can man. So pre-gaming wouldn't be an issue. Let's go. Galatasaray. Champion. Where are you from? USA. USA. Yeah. Oh, hey. But tonight, I support Galatasaray. Yeah. Welcome to hell! Welcome, Welcome to, to hell! hell. Welcome to hell, okay! Galatasaray supporters greet visiting teams with banners that read, Welcome to hell. And their stadium is considered one of the most intimidating atmospheres in football. With their fans even breaking the record for loudest crowd roar at a sports stadium in 2011. I was worried about being a little chilly at this match. No, no, no. Now with a hot cup of chai and a meat log burger. I got a good feeling about this. soccer games and not film them, I would always miss the goal. I would look away and miss the goal. Last games I've been to haven't missed a single goal and I've gotten it on camera. Right after bragging about getting every goal on camera, I missed the next one and the next two after that, with Galatasaray winning the match 3-1. Galatasaray, my favorite Turkish club, always has been. But I'm sure by now you guys get the picture. Istanbul is fun as hell, and you haven't even seen how crazy the basketball games here are yet, so stay tuned.